Hey guys, this is St. Wolven, and today we are going to talk about The Sims and how it's basically a ripoff. Let's get to it. If you've never played The Sims before, because you apparently live under a rock, it's basically a life simulation game. You know, you create your sim, you kind of play as God, so you can control if the sim goes to the bathroom, if they're a scientist, if they eat. You can control all that kind of stuff inside The Sims game right i've noticed a trend that i'd like to share with you i have a few notes here that i think are nice to talk about at least so the sims started with seven expansion packs the very first sim right now a new version on amazon of the whole collection is around 143 dollars what i want you to remember right now is that the sims has seven expansion packs seven now, when we go over to The Sims 2, it's a lot harder to find a new collection or something like that. As a note, these two are going to be the only games I'm going to actually talk about in a bundle type way. Mainly because the other games are very easy to see the expansion packs and how much they cost, while these older games are a little bit harder to find. From what I'm seeing on The Sims 2, there is an ultimate collection, though it can easily go from 790 to 1121 on ebay obviously the other sims collection can easily be found by similar prices as well it's not that hard on this game we're seeing that they have eight expansion packs so they put another one there when we go to the sims 3 that's where we start seeing some weird stuff going on so hear me out the base game right now is 1835 on steam expansion packs are 1835 on steam there's 12 of them in fact and stuff packs are also 1835 there's seven of them so this would be a total of expansions of 19 for one game the base game you know the whole years of work i would say hard work is 1835 but they did not put that same amount of work in these expansion packs and they're charging the same amount. There's 19 of them instead of eight that there were in The Sims 2. They literally made double. I'd say that around this time, they probably realized that expansion packs were the way to go. Now let's go to the current Sims, which is The Sims 4. Now The Sims 4, the base game costs $39.99. It has a total expansions, including stuff packs, including everything, of 27, 20 fucking seven. Six expansion packs, that are $39.99. There are seven game packs that are $19.99. And there are 14 stuff packs that are $9.99. Okay, all of this is in US dollars. This would total to literally own everything in The Sims 4 right now regarding stuff packs, regarding things you can easily find on the store on Origin right now. $559.72. That is way too much money. When you go back into The Sims 3, it's around 36707. That is too much money for one generation of a franchise. I made this game, but I'm going to release an absurd amount of DLC that costs the same as the game itself. That's the part that doesn't make sense. And it's absurd. I mean, when you think of the expansion packs and you think about the time it takes them to make them, they're building upon a game that's already made and they're charging you as if they were creating a completely new game let's think about pets right in this case sims cats and dogs so you buy your base game and you're like you know what i want a dog i want a dog why not oh you want a dog Oh, you need to pay $40. Oh, look at that puppy. That puppy is cute. $40. You want that cat? You want that raccoon? $40. Why are you charging me the literal same amount for your years of effort for like a couple of months? It's so much greed. And oh, oh, who owns The Sims? EA. Now there's an eco pack. That's another $40. So, oh, you like trees? $40. Planting a real tree is cheaper? No matter. $40. I understand why Sims games are so popular in the whole pirated community because the amount of greed seen here, like it's just it's just obvious. You know, it's not you're not even trying. 
to like be like, oh yeah, no, 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 we're, we're about something else. <laughs> no, they don't even try. Just making a quick comparison with what you could currently buy. I'm basing this off the PlayStation Store, new releases and coming soon. So this is what you can buy right now. You can pre-order it right now for that amount of money. All these games. The new Crash 4 game, F1 2020, Marvel's Avengers, Cyberpunk 2077, Ghost of Tsushima, Fairy Tale, NBA 2K21, FIFA 21, and Madden 21. You would be able to buy all those AAA titles with what you would buy everything there is to buy on The Sims 4. In fact, you would have $19 to spare. So, want to go get a sandwich in the meantime? Maybe want to buy something, go to your local McDonald's, go to your local Subway? You'd be able to do that with the $19 that you'd have. We had time to make this before, we could make some of them free, but we're not going to because we are greedy motherfuckers. We are very greedy. So we're not going to. No, 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 no. Those are for people without ambition, my friend. Free things? What? Life is not free, my friend. I need to buy a new Lambo. I need to buy a new apartment. I can't, I can't let this for you for free. Are you crazy? 27, that's completely reasonable. Super reasonable. My conclusion to all of this rambling is basically... <sighs> don't buy The Sims, man. I'd honestly rather pirate it. Like... It... <sighs> I'm not in pro of pirating games, but they, they're just they're just too much man to be honest Like I'd maybe buy the base game and then literally like download the pirated version It's not an experience that changes your life. It's not an experience that makes you grow as a person No, I think it's probably an experience that lets you procrastinate a little more, but that's basically it You're basically being given a game that isn't complete. Obviously, if you look at Cats and Dogs, if you look at University, these are expansion packs that have existed before. So they know that they are going to release these expansion packs later. It's not like, oh yeah, it's just something new that just came to our heads and then we wanted to charge you for it. No, no, no. These are old ideas that they're purposely living out of the game so that you can later buy it as an expansion pack for the full price of the original game. Just something to think about. Obviously, I hate EA with every fiber of my being and I wanted to express that with you. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe, tell your friends. I post videos every single weekend and it's mostly about tech and gaming. Again, thank you so much and have a good one. Bye-bye.